My name is Rihanna Giddens. This is Francesco Teresi, and we're going to be performing a song that I wrote. My work in American music has been really focusing on the African-American contributions to that, and especially the ones that haven't been known, which is why I've been talking about the banjo since that's an African-American invention. But I've also been digging into the history that surrounds the time of this music, this this banjo, which is a replica of a banjo from 1855, what was happening around that time. And it was a very difficult, dark time for African Americans. And so I studied, as I was digging into the history, I, I found these relics of this time, right, when slavery was common, right? It was just a thing that people did. And so I, I came across these advertisements. And there were advertisements for people, you know, because back during this time, people were as good as cash. Certain kinds of people were as good as cash, I'd say. And I found this particular advertisement. It was in the paper, and it was for a young woman for sale. A young woman for sale, right? And the end of the ad is what really got me. I mean, that was horrible enough. But the end of the ad said that she has with her a nine-month-old baby who is at the purchaser's option. And those words just stayed with me. You know, the idea that not only is this woman's life, like, unimaginable, but that her own child, she has no control over her own child. She has no control over any part of her life. And so as I started thinking about her, this young woman in this ad, I started thinking, how does she get up in the morning, right, having no control over any part of her life? How does she not only get up in the morning but continue on through the day? And it just made me think of, so so much history of you know African Americans within this country, but also people all over the world. This is still happening, right? There's still people being captured against their will and held against their will. How do they find any kind of joy? How do they find any kind of will to keep going? And so I just thought about that and the resilience that it takes to make it through, the resilience that it takes to to, to hold part of yourself that no one can take that away from you, right? No one can take that innermost piece of you no matter what they do to you and when you think about MLK community health care that's the word that comes to mind right resilience it's like they told us we couldn't do this well we did it they told us we couldn't you know and that resilience is what makes it happen and everybody has that it's just being aware of it and then the most important thing is being proud of it is going you know what what happened to me is not me right what happened to me what people call me, I'm, I'm, that's not, I'm not taking that in, you know? This is me, and they can't have it. So this is a song about that. It's called At the Purchaser's Option. I've got a baby shall I him Twill come the day when I'll be weeping But how can I love him any less This little babe upon my breast You can take my body, you can take my bones, you can take my blood, but my soul you can take my body you can take my bones take my blood but not my soul i've got a body dark and strong young but not for long you took me to bed a little girl left me in a woman's world you can take my body you can take my bones you can take my blood but not my soul you can take my body you can take my bones Take my blood, but not my Yeah.
the line Every minute over time Fingers nimble, fingers quick My fingers bleed to make you rich You can take my body, you can take my So you can take my body, you can take my bones, you can take my blood, but not my soul. You can take my body.